Seminar on race and racism in post-apartheid South Africa is underway in Johannesburg. Our reporter Hitikane Magwetse is there and he joins us now. So the, the big issue, I mean just start giving us a taste of what came out today. Well, it, it was really a robust uh, conversation and seminar around uh, race and what South Africa has been through in terms of race relations uh, to where it is now. It was really a, a provo pro provocative conversation between scholars of uh, 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 race, the, the, the subject of race, uh, researchers and, and writers. So the panel was uh, um, uh, included uh, scholars and writers and such, as well as the audience. It was a full uh, fully attended rather a uh, uh, seminar uh, which really delved deep into the issues of race and it, it questioned whether uh, the issue of race is really still an issue uh, or is it a class issue uh, is it a power issue and uh, you know try to dis dissect and draw a line between uh, such mm -hmm. issues yeah so to many uh, in the media, some disagree, but it seems like race relations have deteriorated over the last few years. W was there a, any sort of consensus around uh, that sentiment? There was actually a consensus on uh, the observation that race issues and, and the issue of race uh, has deteriorated. Uh, I mean, there was a talk about whether uh, post-1994 we've improved in terms of uh, race relations or we've uh, really uh, uh, given a new face to uh, the apartheid systems. And that was the take that uh, the, the, the talk of bone freeze, the talk of uh, a rainbow nation really try to sugarcoat what uh, is really going on and the fact that they are still racist uh, and, and there was uh, as well talk of uh, uh, state capture commissions, uh, Angelo Agrita's okay. um, coming out in, uh, on national TV saying almost proudly that he is a racist and uh, so many other examples that came out uh, that you know may be overlooked but are evidence of the fact that there is still a growing issue uh, of, of racism. I think there is this mistrust. I don't think he was proud, but he, he tried to say, I didn't, you know, I was in the privacy of my own home. But, but that is the distrust that people who pretend not to be racist behind closed doors uh, speak in a very different way. Uh, do you agree with me? There, there's a huge sense of mistrust. Definitely there is. I mean, uh, uh, you, you, you only have to look at the examples that have come out uh, in the recent past uh, um, of, of people who've, who've uh, thought that they were in the privacy of their own homes or uh, were doing videos that they thought wouldn't uh, go viral. Uh, but in essence, that is how people feel in the inside. And uh, it, it almost seems like they get the shock of their lives when uh, what they say in their private rooms or in their pri private quarters uh, gets experienced outside and people get to experience and, and respond to that. And uh, th there is definitely an issue of mistrust. But the other thing that they spoke to quickly was the issue of uh, racism and how uh, political parties uh, will be uh, using that to... Uh, in the to, elections. Yeah, exactly, of to course. fuel the campaign. We have to watch that. And Angela Agritzi now going to the Equality Court. Uh, the Human Rights Commission says it wants him to appear. They will be speaking to the Human Rights Commission after 8 o'clock. That was Hitakane Magwetse at that uh, very important seminar on race and racism.